Hey guys, so I was struggling to try to figure out what to talk about today because my list of ideas is dwindling down and I didn't really feel like talking about any of them today. Uh, kind of like writer's block, but vlogger's block. Like, I have all these ideas and I just, I'm not motivated to do any of them right now because I have to work again today. Uh, not till five though, so that's nice. But then. As I was walking up the stairs with my lunch, I tripped. And now, I have rug burn on both of my knees. So, I'm gonna tell you guys some uh, stories about times that I've hurt myself pretty badly. To be fair, a lot of my major injuries were not my fault, <laughs> okay? Just putting that out there. For example, the first major injury that I can remember happening was when my sister knocked a TV onto my head. Around the same time, I slipped on a kitchen chair um, while climbing up in my stocking feet. So I fell, and I got this tooth jammed right up into my gums. So it had to be pulled. And of course, my adult tooth wasn't ready to grow in yet, so I had a big gap in my teeth for the longest time. When I was in kindergarten, my best friend was over and she and my twin sister were playing upstairs and I was downstairs reading, but of course, that wasn't okay, so said friend decided to pull me up the stairs and boop, out comes my arm. Just pulled it right out of the socket. I got a dinosaur sling to keep my arm steady. That was pretty cool. <laughs> After that, I didn't really have a major injury for a while. I do remember the first time I rode a bike by myself. I turned the last corner going around the block, and I skid out and had massive road rash all up my arm. And then there was the time I decided it would be a brilliant idea to go down a dirt hill on my bike, and I fell onto the bar. That really hurt. Then when I was about 11 or 12, I got kicked in the right leg by my great aunt's horse. And when I fell, I landed really hard on my left arm and broke it. Bring on another sling. And then due to that, my feet are now pigeon-toed. And we didn't notice that at first. And then I sprained my ankle running laps in volleyball. That same year, I hit my wrist while serving and sprained it. This is why I don't play sports. Then there was the time I was trying to cut skewers for a school project uh, with scissors. That was not a smart idea. I slipped and cut a hunk of skin out of my finger. The ER doctor actually had to ask me to turn away. So while he was doing the stitches because he wasn't okay with me watching him, apparently. When I was in college, my knees started popping. Um, mostly when I did stupid things like the splits. But sometimes I could just be walking and it'd be like, ah! Or coming down from my loft bed. Just, ah! Like, that resulted in x-rays and physical therapy and now I have like stretches and stuff that I can do to kind of keep them from doing that. So they haven't done that since college so let's hope that they don't do that again. One of my favorite injury stories though, um, I was working at our school's Christmas show and I hit myself in the face with a C-clamp. Big hunk of metal right to the face. Um, and the funny thing is, the only reason that happened is because I was not paying attention to where my face was in relation to my hand. So I was on my back, and I went to put the C-clamp up to attach the platforms, and just, boop, black eye. The worst part is that year I was house manager, so I was just standing out in the lobby greeting people with a black eye. For every show, I just had a black eye. I know that injuries are not funny, per se, but I feel like I have to laugh at myself or else I would just be super embarrassed by all of this stuff. So 
tell me below what your favorite injury story of yours is, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.